everyone and welcome to our online maths lessons with me, Miss Denning, and my good friend George over here. Are you going to say hi George? Oh, George is feeling a little bit shy. Did you want to send a little message to the children? Oh, off you go then. Oh, George says he's looking forward to doing lots and lots of learning with you over the next few weeks. Okay, well, this week we're going to be learning all about the number 5. And today we're going to think about all the different ways we can split up the number five into different groups. So first we need to count out five objects. So it's nearly George's snack time, isn't it, George? Yes, he's very excited about it. So George has lent us his grapes for us to use in our maths lesson. So George, can you count out the grapes for me and check we've got the right number? Okay, off you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, George, 11, maybe 12, stop, stop, 10, George. Oh, now the problem is, George, I think you might have got a little bit muddled. What do you think? Oh, no, George, it's okay. Counting can be a bit tricky, can't it? But we can count carefully if we make sure we put the objects in order first. So we're going to put them in a line like this. Okay, George. So we're going to spread them out so we can count them from one side to the other and we can count them one by one. Do you want to give it another go? Good boy. Okay, off you go, George. One, two, three, four, five. Very good. How many are there? Five. Five. Well done. There are five grapes. So now we've got our five grapes, we can start by splitting them up into different groups. Now we've got them here split up one by one, but how about if I split them like this instead? Okay, how many have I got over here in this group, George? One, two. Two, very good. And how many in this group? One, two, three. Three, very good. So we've got two and three. Very good, okay, I wonder if we can split them up a different way. Pause the video now and see if you can work it out at home. You can use anything you like to help you count them out. You could use pasta or jelly beans. Hmm, I wonder if you've got it. Let's see. George, have you got another idea? Let's see. Okay, I think I'm going to have a go. I'm going to move this one over here. And look, what have I got now, George? One. One and one, two, four. Three, four. Very good. One and four. So we had two and three, and now we've got one and four. Hmm. Pause the video again, see if you can think of a different way. All right, let's have a little look. Hmm. How about if I move these ones over here? What have I got now? I've got one, one, two, 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 and two. Ooh, that's a different way. One, two, and two. Okay, let's see if we can think of another way of doing it. Pause the video again, see if you can work it out. Hmm. All right, I think we could do another one. I think I might move this one over here. Okay, what have I got now? I've got one, one, two, two, one, 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 and one. All right. We're going to stop there because I want you to go away now and I want you to see if you can work out as many different ways of grouping five as you can. See if you can draw them or write them down and then share them with me and Miss Hoax on Tapestry or by sending a picture into our class email and George and I are going to have a really good look and George is going to have a little special message for the child that comes up with the biggest number of ways the largest number of ways of splitting up five. Okay, good luck with it, and we'll see you very soon. Say bye, George. Bye. Bye.